Welcome to this National Instruments web demonstration. During this demo, I'll be talking about the FM radio and how we can use NI hardware and software products to explore this particular standard. First off, let's talk a little bit about the background of frequency modulation technology. It was first developed back in 1933. Now, how it works is we take our desired step signal and we get it ready in it for transmission in a two-step process. In the first step, we take our message and we encode it into a frequency varying signal. What this means is for every variation in our signal equates to some variation of frequency. Now, the second step is we take we take this uh, baseband signal and we need to modulate it into a carrier frequency for transmission. This carrier frequency is usually quite a bit higher than the baseband frequency because it's generally much easier to transmit higher frequency signals than lower frequency signals. Now, the frequency in which it is shifted to or modulated to for transmission is uh, what we refer to as the FM band. This particular FM band is 87.5 megahertz to 108 megahertz in size, and that is what is reserved for commercial broadcasting. This band is divided up into 101 different channels, each consisting of about 200 kilohertz worth of bandwidth. Now that we have a general idea of how we create an FM signal, let's take a little bit look uh, how we can actually decode the signal or get it back into our original signal. And this is what we're going to be doing during this demonstration. First off, uh, we take with our hardware, we bring it into an antenna and bring it into down to a down converter. This down converter then takes our uh, whatever the frequency range of our carrier signal is and brings it down to um, our digitizer, brings it down to frequency to about 15 kilohertz or what we call the intermediary frequency. Okay. Then this is then passed, this digitizer then takes the signal and converts it from you know, hardware analog signal to now a digital signal that can be passed into software. In software, we then take in LabVIEW and use our modulation toolkit and we take our signal, now we actually demodulate it or bring it back down to the original baseband and decode the signal into its original sound wave so that we can now output it to our speakers. Now that we have a kind of fundamental understanding of it, let's take a look at some of the hardware that will do this for us. Here is a look at the PXI hardware setup where we can see the hardware used in this particular demonstration. To the left here, we can see the latest Pentium 4 technology featured in a PXI 8196 controller. This is what's going to be running the entire demo for us. Now, please ignore these few devices here as they will not be used in this particular FF, FM demo. Now, let's skip over here and take a look at this antenna here. This is the antenna that's going to be bringing in our signal. As you can see, it is routed in here to our switch, which is the PXI 2597. The switch then takes our signal, transmits it over to our down converter, the, the PXI 5600. This down converter then brings our signal down to the range that our digitizers can change our analog signal now into a digital signal for software computation. Let us now take a look at some of the software here that has been working in this particular demo. All right, first you can see here we are in what we call analyze mode. In the analyze mode, we can see a spectrum analyzer of the entire spec, uh, entire frequency range of the FM radio. So we can see all the way from the 88 megahertz all the way up to the 108 megahertz here. Now you'll notice I've got a red bar here, which is my threshold bar. This is the bar that I can use to set what threshold my um, stations will come in at. So, and then you can see all these little peaks along here. These are each the individual FM stations that I'm that we are picking up and that we can actually read. And as you can see here, we can read in real time. Now. Here with me, I've also got a little FM transmitter so we can see actually uh, it's actually a signal here. So you can see back and forth, I've got this little signal right there that I'm moving up and down. All right, and we see that peak traveling back and forth. So we can see that in real time here, we can actually pick up these particular stations and, uh, and view them. Now, if we'd like to actually listen to a radio station, we want to go into listen mode. In listen mode, you can click this little button right here. And now we're in listen mode. Um, in listen mode, we're actually going to pick up all the different stations that we see these peaks here, depending on what threshold we set. So we can see a drop-down list here of all the different uh, stations that we're picking up at the moment. All right? And also over here with this volume control, we can control the volume of the music and bring it down or bring it back up. You notice here in the, the lower left-hand corner, we'll see a uh, bar graph displaying the various frequencies that we're actually pulling in, and then an actual waveform of our signal right here. All right. We go ahead and click the listen mode again to take us back into the spectrum analyze mode. And then again, we can see all the different frequencies that we're pulling in through our antenna. Thank you for attending this National Instruments web demonstration. For more information about National Instruments RF communication products, please visit ni.com RF.